All right, here's a video tour of the 1969 Austin Healey Sprite. I've had it for a little over two years now. Uh, when I got it, the engine had just been rebuilt, and but nothing connected, so no hoses, uh, plugs, all that stuff was not in place, and radiator was in the trunk of the car, all that good stuff. So basically, engine was rebuilt and then just dropped back in, not connected. Uh, but it was professionally built. And I put in some new halo lights, halo ring LED lights. When they're off, you can't tell they're halo rings. So try to keep it classic looking for, you know, people who really want it original. And I do still have the original headlights, but I also like the halo rings. So I got these, they're kind of more on the subtle side. Here's the engine bay. Uh, try to keep it brief. There's a lot of details I could go in. But, like I said, the engine was rebuilt in 2019. It has great compression uh, on each cylinder and runs very smooth and it's dialed in uh, just right. I mean, it, no issues. Purrs, drives, has plenty of power. Uh, I put all new leads on, so new wires. There's a new coil there. Uh, new set of points. It doesn't have an electronic ignition system yet. It's still on the points. I uh, just kept it original because it was working. New fan, new radiator, all new hoses. Uh, I, had, I put in that copper heater pipe as well and all these hoses. Spruced up the inside. Did the decaling, so got your warning label there. Heater valve, starter solenoids new. Uh, let's see here. Carbs are balanced and running great. Cleaned up the air cleaners and decaled them as well. Uh, float bowls are in great shape. I did put a inline fuel filter in right there because I did uh, didn't put in a new gas tank. I was going to, but the old one was not rusted. It was full of gas, so I drained the old gas, took the tank out, uh, cleaned it recoded it reinstalled put in all new lines it's got a new fuel pump and everything works great in it so all the cables are new as well so that's a new choke cable new throttle cable we've got new brake master cylinder back there and that is the original slit or master cylinder for the clutch but i did do a rebuild kit on it so it's got new seals and no leaks it's in a good shape brand new uh, clutch hydraulic line right there new battery and if you can see down there where the line goes there's a new slave cylinder down there as well and uh, not only is the gearbox I had the gearbox rebuilt last year and uh, it was done professionally by Rick Klein up in Monticello Georgia uh, new clutch went in at that time it's got new throughout bearing on the clutch uh, the gearbox probably has less than 500 miles on it. It shifts great and everything's in good shape. Let's see, there is some imperfections. As you can see right there, some rust and, and wear on the hood. There's the, the emblem. Could use a new emblem, but this one has a good look to it. You can see some rust there on that corner. Uh, but everything's in pretty good shape, so I, I've not put the antenna in. I do have it. And here, we'll just kind of go around the car. So, this front fender panel is in great shape. And you can get all new panels for these if you want. Uh, they're pretty available, and there's junkyards where you can get used panels and forums of, full of people who will give you panels. But that panel's in good shape. One of the concern areas right here you can see that looks like a previous rust repair that did not hold but uh, seems very solid when I'm pushing all through here you know even down in that corner so it doesn't seem to be a bad spot of rust hopefully just confined to right there but that seal looks good all the way to the back and you know, I've been underneath the car, in the floorboards, all that good stuff. 
and everything is solid. In fact, I'll show you a little bit in here. So I put a new carpet kit inside. Passenger seat's in great shape. I do have the headrest, but they're tan, so I didn't put them in. Under here, I put some heat shielding all throughout the underneath, so it's under there as well. Yeah, there's some Velcro on the tunnel. In the back, back here, all that is heat shielded and sound shielded. Actually made a big difference uh, in, the, in the noise and drive. Let's see, and if I pull up, one second here. I'll pull it up, you can see underneath. It's all painted green. Uh, this is just some rest preventative. The floors are very solid. And this beam is in good shape. There's the Sprite decal. Brand new canvas top. Put it in with some help from some knowledgeable British car friends from the British Car Club. The back glass, which is, you know, not glass for convertible, is crystal clear. This is a very nice top. Got the black piping, clean as it can be. Inside, we've got, I put a brand new header seal in and it is tight, but it does open and close now and is rainproof. So that's a good thing. There's the inside of the top. You can see out. We'll keep going around. All right, and then in the back back here, uh, brand new drums and brake cylinders in the back, brand new leaf springs and suspension. I put in new bushings for the spring. There's the other rust spot. And really, that's the worst spot on the car right there. It's right on that fender. You can see it. But a good metal worker could rectify that. But new brakes. The whole brake system is new, basically. The new hoses, even on the front. Calipers were rebuilt. Uh, let me see if I can't get us a better view. There we go. All right, let's see if we can see in here. So it's a brand new wishbone uh, spring plate right there. And the spring was in good shape, so I just painted it red because it looks cool. But it's got new bushings and pins on here as well, and everything's been sorted and cleaned. I did not. The only thing in the suspension system I did not address is the damper here. So these are your shocks. It's like a lever arm and it had some compression on it. So I just refilled it and have not messed with it. At some point, you know, someone's going to want to put new ones in, but there's one on both sides and there's two on the back. So just like the other side, uh, basically in the same spot, there's a bad rust repaired job right there that someone just slapped on and then painted over but uh, like I said it's solid all through here as well you know pushing on it feels good and seals in good shape and the doors in good shape let's keep going around lights work blinkers work uh, the reverse lamp bulbs were both blown, but they're sitting in my checkout cart. I just need to hit purchase and send them with a handful of other things. Bumper on here is good. There is a new muffler on the back, and it's just kind of set into the tailpipe, and it works. Sounds good. There's the fuel tank in the underside. I painted it and undercoated it. You can kind of see some of the suspension system there. Here, I'll try to take you. I don't know how good this will do, but we can try. There's the underside. All right, underside's been undercoated. Uh, didn't have any rust problems under there, but I sanded it all down anyway and sprayed an undercoating. I think just a good thing to do so that we won't have any problems. And it looks good. 
Yeah, you can see the door cards. Kind of cool. Those came with it. I didn't put those in. But I like the green and tan combo. The dash is in great shape, so no cracks. Well, that's as it should be. Original shifter knob. I kept the old one because I just think it looks cool, but a new one would look good as well. Maybe you could do both and swap them out. But I put an anti-rattle kit in here so it's quiet when you drive, no rattling on the stick. There's handbrake, new seat belts. Oh yeah, there's a new ignition switch, so like I said, the whole ignition system's new. I put in a new switch in the column. That was done by Rick as well while he was doing other things. All right, got some indicator bulbs. These two bulbs are dead, so I pulled them out. Just need to put new ones in. The choke, you pull that out uh, when you crank the car for the first time, first time of the day, because it's a, it is not direct injected, but it is a carbureted system, so that drops the jets, gets a little extra fuel in, and after a few turns, it will fire up. We'll do that in a minute. Let me get on the other side. So, a couple other things, you can kind of see the lights are on, behind the, the lights are all working on the instrument panel, it's hard to see during the day, but I think you can see it glowing. Tachometer works, I've cleaned it up as well, so it's nice and shiny. The uh, temperature gauge works, I did crank it up and just, just to put it in the middle here, so that's why it's not all the way on cool. The only one I have not cleaned is the fuel gauge, but if you pop out the speedometer, you can get to the, uh, there's two little bolts on the back. You loosen them, you can pop that out and take that glass off and it will clean up just as good as these others because those cleaned up. It was just one of those things. When I was cleaning them, I did not get to that one and haven't since, so I should have, but oops. All right, I put the speedometer in uh, this is not original to the car, but it is one that I've put in. So it says 30,000. You just need to ignore that. That's the car that it came out of. But that is the right one for the car. I mean, it's the right look and model, all that good stuff. Blinkers work. Let's see. If I... We can do a crank here. I'll do a separate video for the crank, but I'll at least show you. Blinkers. Ta -da. All right, and the hazard. I'll do that number, then it'll start blinking. So those work. Lights work, so that's off running light on. And you can kind of see there's the headlight down there. So you can't really see the difference between bright and, and regular, but not in the day. Radio does not work. I have not messed with it. I did take it out one time because uh, I needed to do the carpet and when I did that I saw that there's a fuse wire that is broken and so there's like a capsule that holds a fuse and it's just broken so it needs a new line with a fuse and fuse holder and uh, hopefully that's all it needs to work but I just haven't gotten to it. It's a brand new carpet, like I said. Ugh. That was probably one of the more fun things, is putting all that together. Panel in the back. All right, now I'll do a second video with the top down and doing a crank up. <laughs> 